All right, welcome class to uh, Unit 1's Lesson 2 video notes. Um, we're going to start by kind of reviewing how to solve a multi-step equation. Um, so first we're going to simplify. Whoops, let's see. each side first and what I'm going to add to that is another line where we uh, are going to write we're going to first distribute and combine like terms so when we um, distribute if we take from the opener which is um, on the first page of sort of the notes from this lesson um, Let's look at 2x my 2 times in parentheses x minus 3. When I distribute this, I need to multiply every term on the inside by the outside term, or I need to multiply the outside term by every term on the inside. I will often draw these arrows to help me um, remember to multiply by every single thing that I need to. So 2 times x will give me 2x. 2 times any constant number times a variable will give you that constant variable, right? That multiplication is in between, right? 2 times negative 3 will give me negative 6. So we need to distribute. We're going to see problems where we have to do that now. Then our uh, steps are going to basically be the same. We're going to undo addition or subtraction by using the inverse operation. We're going to undo multiplication and division by using, again, the inverse operation. So if it's addition, we'll use subtraction. If it's multiplication, we'll use division and vice versa. Um, and of course, we're going to try to keep our variable on the left and box our answer. Right? Steps four and five are really just um, neatness steps. So these are for neatness. They, um, depending on how great of a day I'm having, it won't affect your score if you don't remember to, buy, to uh, write the variable on the right side. Okay, so we always want to remember that first step is to simplify the expression on both sides. So that means distribute and combine like terms on both sides. All right, so let's look at an example here. So we're going to solve these, and then we're going to we have some space to check our work. So again, I'm going to simplify, and I see that I have an expression in parentheses being multiplied by a constant outside, which means I'm going to have to distribute. So I take that negative four and I multiply it by every term on the inside. So I'll get negative 4x minus 4 is equal to 8. Now I'm going to uh, use uh, the inverse operation to get the negative 4 to the other side. Undo subtraction by addition. So I should be left with here, negative 4x is equal to 12. Now I'm going to divide by negative 4 to undo that multiplication. And I should be left with x is equal to negative 3. How would I check my work? Well. I can check my work by plugging in 
negative 3 for x. Okay, I can simplify in the parentheses, negative 2. And this is equal to 8, so it works. All right, let's look at the next one. I want you guys to pause the video and try this one on your own. So um, I'm hoping you guys tried it. Um, the first step, I'm going to have to simplify the right-hand side. I see that I have an expression with a constant outside that I will need to distribute. So I should get 10 is equal to 3x plus okay, 2x, and then 2 times negative 5 should give me negative 10. Now I'm going to combine like terms. So I see that I have x's that I can combine. They're the same term. They're both x terms. So I can combine them. I'll get 5x minus 10 on the right is equal to 10. I can add 10 to both sides. Get 20 is equal to 5x. And the last step is divide by 5. x is equal, whoops, let's write x on the left. x is equal to 20 divided by 5 is 4. And again, we can check the same way. So I'm going to do 3 times 4 plus 2 times 4 minus 5. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2, 4 minus 5, that should be negative 1. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And 12 plus negative 2 is 10, which is exactly what I wanted it to be. All right, I'm going to stop the video there, and I will see you guys uh, in the next one.